Now, the effort to support the thousands of refugees who have fled Afghanistan is going to continue for years. Ray Daniel has the story of one man who knows the difficult journey those refugees are now facing. When the U.S. began to withdraw the last troops from Kabul, Afghanistan, it drew comparisons to another moment in history. Saigon, Vietnam, 1975. A chaotic rush of people scrambling to leave the country, trying to flee the incoming regime. T. Bowie was in North Vietnam at the time, fighting on the front lines. Nobody know what's going on. We have a surrender because uh, no money, no gun, no everything. He had been a commander in the Republic of Vietnam Navy and worked closely with the Americans. Every day we have uh, between 100 to 300 people die because of war. When the U.S. pulled out of Vietnam, Bui escaped to Korea for a few months before getting a visa to come to America. That's how he made his way to Kansas City. I first got here, I don't know anything in here. He was one of 125,000 Vietnamese refugees who came to America. Now, the U.S. is preparing to take in thousands of refugees from Afghanistan. Mayor Quentin Lucas has already said Kansas City is ready to welcome them. And Bowie knows firsthand the challenges they'll face. The hardest part is the language barrier, especially with elderly. Soon after arriving in the U.S., Bowie started volunteering at the Don Bosco Centers. With his limited English, he helped other refugees navigate their lives. That resource will be crucial for incoming refugees. We teach them the English skills, sort of those survival skills that they're going to need to start becoming more self-sufficient. Literacy KC's Don Bosco School of English provides free classes to adult immigrants and refugees from over 75 countries. They're preparing for a surge in refugees from Afghanistan. The biggest challenge is, you know, addressing those immediate needs, but then the longer term needs become finding that sense of community, finding a place of belonging, and that's something that we offer here as well. Helm says she thinks Kansas City is up to the challenge. I think Kansas City is such a welcoming community already. Uh, we do a really great job of welcoming in uh, other people from other co countries, other cultures. A lot of times we learn a lot more from them than, than they can learn from us. Literacy, KC, and the Don Bosco Centers also help immigrants and refugees connect with job training programs, citizenship classes, and computer courses. We have more resources linked in this story on KSHB.com.